know I'm Minnesota Dirt. Well, today we're doing something interesting. Well, it's already done actually, but you're gonna see what we just did here. We decided to, uh, to get my scales actually level for the first time. We used two plastic levels like, uh, like this. This is how we did it last time. And then we just did an eight foot level across and, oh, hi, Gleachers. And then shoe level across there and then try to span that with a two by four or whatever, the, I don't know, like I think we used angled aluminum and then tried to do that. Yeah, well, TJ has a buddy, Jason. Hi, Jason. Hi. He's got precision tools for uh, excavating, right? Excavating it is. So it's got the the eye thing here that spins around and shoots a laser and then his doodad thingy he <laughs> that sh shoots that and tells us if we're high and low and what's the pads looking like now oh look at that <laughs> I think we, uh, this might be a little bit of overkill, but. And you said that that thing can, you said a thousand yards. A thousand yards within a 30 second. A 30 second within a thousand yards. So we're, uh, would you say we're pretty level? I say we're level. <laughs> So what we did is we cleaned the floor, and uh, on all the pads, I put circles on the floor. So now I can put the pads right back to where we were, and we are now certified Jason Level. So now we shouldn't have to worry about cars being off because we are level. Well, that's what we did today. We're going to get the car back inside before we get hit by the next snowstorm. And uh, I should probably shoot some video of the car because the car looks way different than the last time you guys saw it. So we'll check with you guys later. Hello, everyone. Saturday. I don't know the date. Just got done eating some food at Brewski's. Adding a little fuel to float bowls. Dad's here, TJ's here. And uh, we got ourselves a race car. Here comes the big reveal. Wait for it. Wait for it. Oh, look at that thing. Let's flip you around here and admire this beauty. You know I went with the, the skull. It's kind of my trademark. Thing looks good. Still waiting for all my soda stickers to come. Those will be all right there. You see here, we take uh, our sticker placement with pristine uh, precision here. Isn't that right, Dad? What's that? Nothing but uh, precision here when laying out stickers. Well, the biggest decision when you're laying out graphics is are you going with the slope of the body or are you going with the level of the ground? Sometimes we do a little bit of both. It's so like we got three more stickers and we're done? Um, pretty close. Four. We got one there, one there, the Napa, and then the big one on there. And then on my contingency stuff, but all the stickers were done. Thank you again to National Fleet Graphics and Dodge Center. They killed it once again. Maybe a couple more years, we'll change that to Billy the Adult. That wouldn't be very fun. That might be true. All right, well, we're gonna finish these stickers. I've been kind of just piddling on Charlie's car. <clears throat> uh, I got this headers all cleaned up, <clears throat> putting on the boom tubes. It's quite the header. 
So I'm gonna keep going on this. And we'll probably check in after he's done with all the stickers. TJ, why do we have the car running? Had to heat the engine up so we could drain the motor oil. New year, new oil. Well, I don't see any water in it. And I didn't see any water come out of the header, so we're already starting off this year better than last year, eh? Yes, we are. Does it look gross? Mm, I wouldn't say gross. Say it should, and it only had, what? One night on it? No, I didn't get more than that. No, I thought we changed it right before the Jamboree. So we're going to practice and the jam on it. Okay. I don't know, it was written on the board, but someone erased it. Yeah, it's not on the board no more. These speed work headers sound pretty beefy, eh? Yeah, they got a nice cackle to them. Yeah, which made me concerned. Because that... <laughs> that popping noise they kind of made. I was like, uh-oh, trying to jump in gear or something. That was weird. That's what it sounded like to me, too. Like the transmission was popping. But I put her in put her in reverse, and it didn't stop, so I popped it back in the first or low. Well, we'll drain the oil out of it. Get eight quarts of good old Schaefer's in it. Schaefer is provided by Plainview Napa. Thank you very much, sir. All right, TJ, I should probably go inside and uh, change. Yeah, put your work clothes on. Yeah, I'm, I'm still in. I'm still in work clothes, so I'm gonna go with change. Ooh, Charlie's header, shiny. Action. We just received a package from. One of our biggest fans, our good little buddy, Elijah. He told me he had something good working up, so we're going to open it up and find out what it is. I kind of have an idea of what it is, but then again, I don't. Let's see what he sent us. <clears throat> he says, I need it to put it on the car for the car show. So that kind of told me what it's going to be. Look at that. Elijah got us a banner made. Now that we got a cool skyrocket, we're hopefully going to have some secrets to hide. So we got to hide them in style. Thank you, Elijah. I really appreciate it. This thing is going to look really cool in the back of the car. All right, well, let's get it installed. Alright guys, we are getting loaded up for the Deer Creek Car Show. We're going to get it loaded up now and uh, go park it in a building down the road here. So at least it's not out in the outside tonight. And then uh, tomorrow morning we can just jump in and go. So, Hill Girl sounds pretty good. I'm pretty pumped. So right now we're just going to kind of rinse off the chassis she got a little dusty um on our way to balance speed our gps took us down a gravel road it was not my fault. 
he just said it wasn't his fault. But we went down the gravel road and the frame got all kinds of nasty, dusty. So gonna rinse it off to make her look all pretty for tomorrow. So yeah, there's the rig. So yeah, that's the plan. And uh, yeah, Deer Creek Car Show bound. All right, we're gonna get wet here and rinse this thing. Morning, everyone. TJ, what are we doing today? Car show time. We are on our way to the Deer Creek Car Show at a Rochester Chevy, or what's it called now? Rochester Chevrolet. It is Rochester Chevrolet? Yep. Rochester Chevrolet, it used to be called Clements. But then it got bought out by the Rochester Motor Cars. So yeah, Rochester Chevy, that sounds right. So gonna go there. Show off the race car. All right, well, we're gonna get in the truck, stop at our favorite uh, quick trip, get a big old cup of coffee and a donut, and get this thing unloaded at the Clements or uh, Rochester Chevy. All right. What? No. Well, here we are, getting the old girl unloaded. Dusty Von Hagen! What's up, buddy? Atta boy. Well, what's your thoughts? How's she look? Good. I like the front part. I do too, dude. Yeah, your, your, your nose and uh, hood turned out, uh, turned out minty. And then uh, a couple people in our last video commented. You know what they commented? Swoop. Swoop! I, yeah. People dig the swoop. All right, we're gonna get this thing driven inside. We are at the Deer Creek Car Show, and the place is a buzzing. We got pushed center stage this year, so we're in the middle and don't really have a have a spot to put the TV or run extension cord, so no TV this year, but that's all right. We're uh, we're right in the middle and uh, center stage, so it's, it's going great here. Take a look. We're in a good spot. Everyone is the first one we'd see. Some good looking rigs. You guys seen on my channel, uh, Spencer Stock. His rig is looking good. And then his daughter's race car right there. That thing is cool. A little RC little car there, but. Together at the rain tomorrow and stuff, so everything at this moment is looking as a go next weekend. Stay tuned to Facebook and website and stuff, but as of now, it doesn't look like it should be an issue for practice next Saturday from 5 to 9. Bill, you really got to record me? Yes, sir, I do. <laughs> <laughs> You can watch the video on Minnesota Dirt. All right. We'll do Minnesota Dirt. <laughs> Thanks, Ryan. Right Looking at all that, uh, kind of strange sitting at a car show saying that we're going to go practice next weekend. I don't remember the last time we were able to do that. So uh, once again, I turn it over to Todd Narvison here to do some of the trophies. But uh, just want to thank you all again for taking the time and coming on. Yeah, big thank you. Good, uh, good to see everybody here. A lot of nice little hot rods here as a part of this. And we'll start out with our. Uh, Air doctor trucking was so good us modified because one just showed up, so it was time for
morning. I hope you weren't sleeping. And Billy has a, uh, not that neighbor. That's the cool neighbor. That's TJ's wife, Jenny. This neighbor next door here, on this side, has been not very happy with Billy. But you look at her yard, I wouldn't be too happy with her either if I was her. It's a little bit of a mess and she's kind of a, a little bit of a different person. Anyway, what do you think, Billy? It's done. It moves. Billy's more excited about getting his garage cleaned out than he is about getting, uh, getting this race car I am. done. Be 100% truthful, I am. I mean, he wants the race car done. He wants Charlie to have fun with it. Yeah. Yada, yada, yada. But this is, this is too much. I can't. I can't, I can't <laughs> he's, he's, more, he's more excited about all the activities he can have. <laughs> organized again and cleaned up and looked like a proper race shop. Yeah, Minnesota Dirt on the TV. Billy's car is ready to go. Hi, Minnesota Dirt. It's uh, today's Saturday, practice day. Um, I'm sure Billy's probably done some videos um, of what he's up to this morning, but I'll show you what I'm up to. Right now we got Charlie's trailer. I'm just trying to uh, bring everything back to Charlie's house. Obviously we, uh, we um, drug a lot of stuff here, trying to get everything built and parts and all kinds of stuff. So right now we're you know, shocks and everything. So right now, Billy's about ready to go grab the Charlie's car from around. So Billy's house is on two roads. He's got a road here in the front. And then he's got, then in the back, there's another road, an alley in the back. and his property goes all the way through so he's gonna drive it from around the back of the alley and then bring it around to the to the trailer I still can't figure out this mirror image thing anyway so we're heading off to Deer Creek practice and uh, hopefully things go well I'm sure we'll check in later coming around the neighborhood This is downtown Utica. It don't get more metropolitan than this field. This hound doesn't even have a traffic light. I don't even know. Yeah, I don't even think we got a stop sign. Anyway. So here he comes. Afraid of that neighbor. He yeah. don't even he don't even rev it up. She's got him scared. He doesn't even whack it. Ah! Don't even whack it. I mean you were that neighbor's got you so scared. Well, I, just, I just commit four felonies and that's all right. Here and here he comes. I'll get you some more rope. Well, anyway, so we're gonna load it up. Here we go. I'll get you some more. All right, well, check in with you later. All right, guys, that is gonna conclude this video. Um, we have, I have a whole nother video, pretty much ready to rock. So I don't know if I will drop that in a couple days or if I'll save it and post it next Sunday to give me some time to get uh, week one race all edited up. But I don't know, we'll see uh, how the comment section blows up and how bad you guys wanna see uh, our test and tune video, which will be our next video. Um, so yeah, thanks a lot for watching guys. Make sure you share us on Facebook, like, share, and subscribe. Tell your friends. Uh, let's, uh, let's keep growing Minnesota Dirt Nation. All right, we'll see you guys in the next video.